Welcome to the Derek Bartos Show. I've got a very special guest today. we got NBA player Darius Miller. Um, first off, I just want to thank you for coming here to Electric County and putting on this camp for the kids. Uh, tell the folks why you did it. Um, we just wanted to come out and um, be involved with the community and the people that supported me while I was at Kentucky and um, still support me to this day. So uh, we've been trying to move around, get to a few different cities and um, just throw camps and help out the kids and hopefully they have fun with it. Yeah, and what you don't realize, a lot of the kids that are at the camp this week don't have very good lives at home, and uh, to see the smiles on their face, you know, what, what does that mean to you? Um, it means a lot to me. That's that's a big reason why we do it. Um, I was also a kid like that in a small town, and uh, we I never really had opportunities to go to camps um, with people I looked up to. So just to try to give kids the opportunity, like I said, they support me, so I'm trying to support them back. Okay, talk a little bit about your family and the people that you brought with you this week. Um, I brought my uncle, who's also my trainer. Uh, he's been my trainer for a while now, helped me to get to the level that I'm at. And um, my father, who's a, a big inspiration to me, um, a big part of my life. And then um, I brought my cousin, who's like my brother to me. He actually lives with me still. We've been living with each other since we were young. So um, that's the people that I brought with me. They've, they've done a great job, I think, of um, running the camp, um, being a huge part of the camp, and um, interacting with the kids. Okay, talk a little bit about your career. You won a high school title? Or college title on now or in the NBA games. Just tell the folks a little bit about that. Um, it's been a long journey for me, and uh, it's been a great one. I, got, I was blessed to be able to play at UK, and now, like you said, play in the NBA. And uh, I'm just happy with it. Playing in the NBA was my dream. Like I said, growing up in a small town, we didn't get to see many people that had made it that far. So um, for me to be able to, to get out of Maysville and, and make it that far was, it was huge to me. Like I said, it's a blessing. So. Hopefully it continues to, to go on. Okay, talk about the transformation from Billy Gillespie to John Calipari. Um, it was a big change, honestly. Um, they're two totally different coaches. They handle things differently. Their systems are different. So um, when uh, when I when I changed over, I mean, obviously Coach Cal is a great coach. I was I was um, excited to get to play for him. I know the talent that he's coached before, and um, I know how he's made players better. So uh, for me to be able to to play for him in that system and us being in the UK, it was, it was yeah. a great experience for me. And you completely bought into it because you could have scored more points, you could have shot more shots, and, and that's what worked for the national title team. Everyone took their position and took their role. Uh, yeah, we had a, a, a bunch of great guys, and like you said, it was unselfish, so um, it worked out for the best. And uh, as far as uh, all the teammates that I played with, especially the championship year, I feel like all of them were great guys, great teammates, and um, I was happy to be able to play with them. Okay, talk about the pressure of playing in the Summer League this year. Um, the last game you scored 23 points, 20 in the second half. The pressure of not knowing if you're going to make the roster or not. Um, I, I really felt like I've put in a lot of work before then with my uncle and um, some of the coaches down in New Orleans. And um, I just wanted to go out and have fun, honestly. Um, I just wanted to give it my best shot and um, see if, see what uh, would happen with it. I didn't want to put too much pressure on myself. Even though there was pressure there, like you said, I'm um, trying to make the team. It's my livelihood. But um I just wanted to come out and see if all the hard work would pay off, and um, at the end it did. So. Okay. Talk about the name change to the Pelicans. What's up with that? Oh, uh, it was weird for me, anyways, <laughs> at first, but uh, it grew on me, and I love the colors. I love the colors. Yeah. I love the logo, but I know that it has some a meaning um, to the people in New Orleans, okay. and um, that's big to them. They used to have a baseball team called the Pelicans, and um, it's a really huge name for them, and they love it. So okay. I love it too, and um, I'm just. Happy to be a part of. And I think they showed the new uniforms yesterday, and they looked really nice. Yeah, really them. nice, really nice. I love them. So uh, hopefully I get a chance to, to play in them a little bit, so okay. we'll see. Okay, and lastly, just tell the, the younger folks that are watching this kind of words of inspiration and just how, how they need to work hard to be better at basketball and be better at life. Um, I think the main thing is having fun with it. If you don't have fun with your workouts, um, with playing, then it's, it's going to get old to you. Um, my uncle, when I work out with him, he does a great job of making it fun. I mean, at the same time, we're training is hard work, but uh, he makes sure I enjoy it. He's not um, you know, like being negative about anything. And I think that's the main thing, especially at a young age, you got to have fun with it um, so you don't get burnt out with basketball. And then at the other time, I feel like anybody can go anywhere and do whatever they want to do. Like I said, I came from a small town, and um, I just stayed dedicated to it. Um, I try to be disciplined with everything that I do, and um, it worked out for the better. Okay. We're going to play a little game of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, last month, I played Elijah Justice, former Mr. Basketball, lost 16-9. to nine. So hopefully you'll take it a little bit easy on me. So we'll go on to that.